Hello YouTube, it's Jack here from JDRC Network, and I have some really exciting news. So this is a, Mu a Mugen, or Mugen, or however you pronounce it, uh, MBX4. It's one of their older ones. And I got this one for free because me and Nick, or Nick and I, sorry, Nick and I were out uh, running our cars in the street because uh, we were trying to test out gearing and stuff. This guy pulls up in his, uh, I think it's like a Volkswagen Rabbit or something. And he shows us his buggy and he holds it up and goes, Hey, you, I, I have a car here. Do you guys want it? I don't use it anymore. And I said, sure, I'll take it. So, um, it's a Nitro 8th scale buggy. And since I don't like to ride Nitro because I live in a very populated area. Like, there's a lot of houses around. You guys can't see because... There's nothing there, but I'm on like a regular city block. Um, I can't really run it um, outside or anywhere here because of its noise. So, I've decided to take this and do a little uh, conversion by myself. Like, I don't, I'm not going to buy any kits or anything like that. I'm going to only buy one piece, and that's because I can't make it myself. But that one piece is a motor mount that goes in here it replaces the rear um it replaces the rear uh center diff upright and it adds a motor here or a motor mount here i'm going to take out this plate because that's for the brakes and the throttle on a nitro which i'm going to convert it to electric so i don't need it anymore if anybody can tell me what this is uh please leave a comment somewhere um i've installed or i've half installed a servo because there's no screws on it yet. Um, I hooked, I just hooked that up like five minutes ago. Uh, this is a battery plate off of a low C10 SCTE. And since I converted mine, or I, I didn't convert it, uh, since I upgraded mine to the MIP chassis, um, it has a battery on chassis. Uh, that's how you mount the battery. It's, it mounts to the chassis. So I was able to take this, cut off the rear... Um, let me get some better light. I cut off the rear ESC mount. And, um, like that you can see there. And it fits perfectly into, oh, hold on, let me adjust the light. Fits perfectly into this hole and this hole. So those fit, I had to take out the, uh, I don't know if you, what you call them, nubs or something. I had to take out these on the other side. It's not focusing. If it can focus, you'll see better. I had to take these out on both sides. The front and the middle. The rear was able to stay because that didn't get in the way. But I had to take those out. It screws in fine. It's it's on there pretty good. I'm, you're not going to break that off. And um, so there's that. Uh... The guy who gave it to me, he gave it to me with uh, on-road tires. So I'm thinking, instead of making this into a buggy, like off-road buggy, I think you make it onto like a 8th scale street car, because I think that'd be kind of neat. Because I don't have any on-road cars. It also didn't come with the wings, so that's partially the reason why, but yeah. Um, I have some Ofna LX2 shocks here that I've upgraded from the stock shocks that come on it. These are full aluminum shocks with little boots at the end and they have preload spacers instead of uh... what do you call them? instead of thre uh, threaded collars. So there's that and these are also 14 millimeter while well, these are 16 so you can see that there's a pretty noticeable size difference. There, you can see it there. Pretty noticeable size difference, has better dampening. They're a tiny bit longer, but I'm gonna get some really soft spring, not really soft, but softer springs for it, or raise the body, or the uh, shock mount somehow, so that will lower the ride height. I could also just use the droop screws, but then it doesn't give me any droop at all. So there's that. Um, any uh, aluminum upgrade that I can get in purple. I'm gonna get in purple because I think that'd be a neat theme for this since most of it right now is already purple. Like you can see there, there's this, that, 
that the screw uh, washers like that the here there there back plate back plate these on both sides front and rear you can't see them there goes they're there there and in there um uh what else let's see uh, it came with the upgraded aluminum center diff in red. That's kind of neat. And what sucks is I'm still trying to figure out a way to get a um, to get disc brakes on it because I think it would be really neat to be able to get a car that has not only uh, uh, the uh, electric brake but actual like a motor brake but actual disc brakes because right now. So I'm gonna take this. I can roll it right now. Like this, you can see the tires moving. Then I pull on these, and the tires just slide, even though I'm not touching anything on the uh, on the diff. I'm gonna hold it back, and the tires just slide because they're actual disc brakes that you can see in there. All you guys with eight skill metro buggies know this already, but for those of you who don't, there's disc brakes. When this turns, it pushes a little paddle in there against the side of the brake, and that squeezes these together on both the front and back. Um, it, it doesn't feel like it has any oil inside any of the diffs. It feels just like grease because I'm able to really easily do that I and mean, like really fast without the back tires moving at all. It has incredibly stiff sway bars and that's another reason why I might turn this into an on-road car. Because if I can get... Oh, they got bright. Okay, it's a little bright right now. But I hold this up, I can do that, and the other tire will start moving up too. The front isn't as stiff. There we go. The fronts aren't as stiff, but it's a, you can kind of see it happening. Not much like... Like that. So that's it for today. Uh, if you liked the video, please press that like button. Please comment, subscribe have any questions leave in comment section below and I'll see y'all later